If you exalt the feminine, as in the way I've been describing that they do, well, doesn't man have a feminine side? So if women today, these little woke snowflakes or whatever, harden themselves or lesbians or whoever, like I said, this everything can be understood today about you know these gender fluidity and all of that from what we're talking about. If you harden against a male, you're a woman and you've grown up, you go through school and you basically are cold and you're hard towards a man's feminine side, which is I need nurture, I need comfort, uh, you know, I need you to look after me and I need love and I need sex. The more, the more that women harden toward that and, and say, no, we're not going to take your projections, we're not going to yield, isn't that an affront to the feminine side of the man? Well, that's the topsy-turvy world we're living in. Here are people who exalt the feminine and forget that the man, all men, even a brutish man, has a feminine side, as mutilated as it may be. But a lot of men have a very healthy feminine side. It's not mutilated. Hey, girls, the moment that you say, I'm not servicing you, that is another affront toward nature. And the, the woman who, who's taken that to its extreme becomes a lesbian. That's why lesbianism is on the rise. It's not genetic. It's those people, those women who say, no, I'm not servicing a man, but I still have personal needs. I have a feminine side that needs to be suckered. I, I have a feminine side that needs to be comforted. Okay, I turn to girls. What does the man do? He becomes homosexual. He goes, well, the girls aren't helping. The girls aren't yielding to me. It's terrible. And by the teenage years, they've worked this out and go, well, I guess I have to turn to men, uh, you know, and I'll come up with some claptrap that says it's DNA, it's genetics. No, it isn't. Psychology. The man mm -hmm. turns to man for any kind of comfort for his feminine side. There's a whole argument where, you know, whether that's even going to lead anywhere. But I'm just dealing with the phenomena as it is. The turning from the from the feminine side of the man of the man has caused all these aberrations. Then to cover it, they try to talk to you about nonsense, about you know genetic predispositions and all the rest. What any idiot can tell is total nonsense. It is not. You're not born gay. It's matrophobia, mate. But it happens so early, and you've got so many cognitive blocks into that dynamic that you would rather jump over childhood, which is what everybody do, jump over the eatable conflicts, jump over the matrophobia, and say, oh, uh, uh, no, I'm born like that. No, you're not. No, you're not. This is sociological. This is rooted in everything that we're talking about here. It's almost like, you know, the decision gets made at a point in, in time where, it, you know, it's buried. It just ends up buried in the subconscious. And then, you know, years down the track, they're like, oh, well, I, I'm just, this is just how I am. And they don't actually, there's no memory of the process of like the conditioning or the trauma that pr prompted them to move in that direction in the first place. That's it. They don't even deal with it. Okay. And that is it. Yeah. See, the homosexual is the one who's signing off from what we said. The feminine side of man is not normally nurtured by the opposite sex. So immediately, without even knowing it, you could predict it from an armchair. Oh, that means that women will turn to women. That's right. That did happen. And men might even turn to men. Yes, that happened. Well, it's one to one. You made but, a lot of, oh, sorry, go finish that thought. Well, but the, the key to what we're saying is that the woman is doing something wrong because she claims the woke feminist is claiming to love and adore the feminine, except if it comes to being uh, uh, the other polarity within a man. What kind of nonsense do they believe? Why can't they see their own uh, hypocrisy in this matter? In, in so Dragon Mother. The mystery, the, the mystery oh, yeah, of homosexuality yeah. is solved in this regard, as far as I'm concerned. You know, need, need, needn't uh, plague anybody anymore. But these are just a couple of points. There are additional issues, but those nine I thought were you know, concrete enough to say a newbie came in. I think they could mull over these. But this last one is, 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 is very revelatory, you know, very revelatory. Because in the turning away from the feminine side of a male, when women do this, when they harden against them as they've been taught and programmed, how is that their adoration of the feminine? Their own at that moment, from the first point we start talking to the last, you can deconstruct feminism. There's not much left. There's really not much left once you do it this way.